welcome to my channel. This is Amy. Tonight I'm going to show you another way to paint a rose. And this is uh, upon a request from a follower. I'm going to be using Berry Wine, Wicker White. Those are both multi-surface paints. And then Happy Green, also multi-surface paint. And then Thicket, which is an enamel. I'm using two three-quarter inch flat brushes for the design tonight and we're going to go ahead and get started. Now just to show you how I typically paint a rose, I'm just going to use this uh, my ceramic or porcelain plate here. I typically go like this and then continue on around and go like that again hopefully you can see and then do follow up on this side now again keep in mind that I am a left-handed person if you are right-handed you might have to start in a different direction than what I am painting in if you're able to do it the same direction, being right-handed, then that's fine. Just continue doing, doing it that way. But I'm just, you know, giving you that information in case you are finding it difficult to follow. That could be why. All right. So then I typically then will put another row of the wigglies around this. Let me go ahead and start here with this one. And just over how many I can get to fit in, depending on the brush size that I'm using. Since I'm using a large brush size tonight, I'm finding that I can just do it with, with this one. I can do three. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and do these little petals that aren't quite open. At least that's what they're, what I'm thinking they're supposed to represent. And then you can do either three or four of these around, again depending on the amount of room that you have, and call it, call it a day. All right. Now, the other roses are still kind of similar, but a little bit different. And I'm going to, I'm going to still use the ruffly. Now, some people will use a different shape. I like to do this where I'm just filling it, basically double loading the brush, and then putting it down, pressing down, and wiggling it. Okay, so then I'm going to go in the center of this one and go in the center, or go over here and kind of meet up, and then put another one through the center here. And then I'm going to, this is going to be my center, I just come in here and make that kind of a stroke. Now, you can leave it at such, or you can pull these over like that, and you can even do another row if you wish to do so, bringing it over here. Okay, that's up to you. That's just another, another way that you can do it. So this is a little bit different. And then I'm going to slide this one in like that. And then you can still do some more of these type of petals. Even if you want to go into here. Maybe do another one back here. I mean, it's up to you. You can stop, you know, whenever you feel like it's, it's getting too much, then stop. All right, so then we can do one where we're still using this this type of petal. And yes, I am going to run into this one, which is fine. If you know me very well with my painting, I think it's perfectly fine to overlap. Okay, now with this one, you can do more of a continuous type of a petal. And then you can, if you want, do one that comes out here, 
things it down. So you're having two in front of it and coming down. So you got a lot of layering going on here. And then you can do just a smaller one here. Now you can either close this up just as one, one big center, or you can split it like I did on the other one. Okay. Now to continue on with this, we can go on and put some more layers here. The main thing is to have fun with it. Well done like that. Or you can keep it going and have it just completely wiggled. So you see what I mean here? And then have it come over here and then continue on. Now if you choose to do it like this, then you can actually come in here and do some of these other kind of petals that would be in the center. The main thing now that you can do these a lot easier if you use an angle brush. But it would be, you know, I do like a few little strokes and then pull it away and then pull it up like that so that you can see it. Lift it up. Now that's a really big one. You've got a lot of flowers going on here. You could turn it. Again, it's however you however you wish to do it. Whenever I do roses, though, I always like to do little buds. Always like to do little buds. Maybe you put one in here. This one is kind of, let me just do this one again. Okay, do like that. And then I'm going to come in with my greens. Oh, actually, what I'm going to do is try to do some of the flowers or the leaves that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to base coat first. Oh, this one I didn't do quite so right, but base coat first and then come back over it with my multicolor. Alright, these I'm going to go up, up, up. And it's just perfectly fine to pull in some of that color from the actual bud. Actually, it's pretty together. I think at least. And there's multi ways you can do this too. Okay, so it's coming up like that. Alright, and then if you want, you can kind of hook these together. They're buds. I like that. If you want to put more, I feel like I need a few more leaves here. So I don't think I'm going to do, just do one. Again, this is just a filler, and you can make this look like a regular leaf, but you'll see. What I'm doing right now doesn't really matter so much. It'll be uh, more important here in a minute what I'm going to do. Okay, so basically what I would do then is come back. Now I like the wiggly leaves, so I'm going to do it like that, and I basically just go up, wiggle it. Now you can turn the plate if you wish, like say this one, I'm just kind of wiggling it down and pulling it back up, and I can go like this, got my red in there. And pull some more over here and pull it up through. But you can do it thinner too. I mean these are getting kind of thick because of the brush I'm using. And then I'm going to, I can go like this and finish it off nicer. And I'll take some, just you know, do some filler, kind of filler strokes there. 
and then do this because I'm running out of room. But I just wanted to show you another way to kind of base paint and then add your add your paint over the top of it. This will help it to be a little bit more opaque. I don't know why I got that side like that. And then you can just wisp it in like that. Now with these, again I probably would switch to a smaller brush, but just for the point of this, this video, I'm not going to. Because kind of like with, with this, I typically will go up and around like that when I'm doing a bud. I like to go up. And you can you know, judge your colors, whether you have the darker or the lighter on top, based upon where the light source would be, or don't worry about it. You can actually take some time to put little stems in them. Again, that's up to you. But I do like leaves, so you will probably see me with a lot more. Now, in something like this, you could actually start out with the bigger brush and then finish with a smaller brush so that it fits in to your, the area that you're painting a little bit better. Again, with the uh, painting that I'm doing right now, I'm not really so concerned with it. I just wanted to show you, and a lot of you have seen me paint my leaves before, so it's really not that big of a deal. I'm going to add, always add more leaves. And like I said, I, I like leaves, so if you're not a leaf person, then don't do as I'm doing. Do your own thing. Alright, so I hope that helps as far as doing some different types of roses. I think this is pretty. Again, it's just kind of jumbled up because I was doing a couple different things. Let me know if you have any questions, comments down below. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And then the button underneath the video is a share button. Please share this on your social network with all your friends and family. Alright, until the next one, you have a good one.